My name is Sarah Walker and I'm the daughter of Peter Walker who is also known as Nicholas Rea and he's a writer who wrote the Constable series of books uh, which was turned into, into the TV series Heartbeat. And I'm going to read from the uh, third book in the series which is Constable Around the Village and you might work out why I've chosen this particular passage. I greeted the young fellow with now then as we do in Yorkshire and he nodded a brief response all the time wringing his cap. It's not like a sow, is it? He suddenly spoke. Uh, no, I suppose not, I responded to his odd statement. Sows eat theirs, eh? If you don't do something quickly, they eat the young. Cats do an all, he commented. Humans aren't like that, I said by way of saying something constructive and helpful. My first, he squeezed the hat until I felt it must fall apart in those massive hands. My fourth, I felt a glow of parental pride as I realised we've not eaten any of ours. It's not like horses either, is it? He resumed after a break in our conversation. Horses? I puzzled. Aye, foaling. Horses foaling. They've got to get ropes on the feet and drag them out. I've done it many a time. Nasty business. Won't be like that, will it? No, it won't, I assured him, feeling it wise to refrain from explaining that some human births weren't all that easy. There followed a long period of silence, during which he mangled his cap until it looked like a battered dishcloth. Then he smiled and said, It'll not be like cows either, will it? Cows? I must have sounded baffled by this time. Cows roll on their calves sometimes, big hefty cows lashing about. They roll over and smother their calves if you're not there. The nurses will look after ours, I assured him, wondering about the size of his wife. He smiled at my blithe reassurance and settled down. Then suddenly paced the floor and put the mangled hat on his untidy hair. He stopped right in front of me and peered at me seriously. It's not like lambs, is it? He asked, those anxious eyes boring into mine. Lambs? I shook my head. If the mother dies, they give them the lamb to another ewe. They skin a dead lamb and hide the smell and put the skin over the orphan. I visualised mothers wearing wigs to confuse babies. I visualised babies being painted with some fluid to disguise their smells so that foster mothers would accept them. It's not a bit like that, I said. And he returned to his chair where he recommenced his ringing motions. We waited another five minutes and he smiled at me. I'm glad we're not like cuckoos, he winked. Crafty old birds those, eh? Laying their eggs in another nest and letting someone else feed them and bring them up. I think a lot of humans are just a bit like that, I said. The sister came through and addressed him. Mr Winford? Aye. He leapt to his feet and clapped the mangled cap on his head once again. You've got a son, she said, and he and his mother are both well. I reckon it'll be a thoroughbred sire like his dad. And he followed the nurse with gleeful pride in his eyes. I waited, musing over his curious view of natural birth. And within half an hour, the sister called me in. A daughter, Mr Rear, she announced, and both are fine. For some reason, I thought of a form. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed it.